and we are back at Antix 22 this is one of my favorite distributions Antix as you all know and today Antix has bumped into version 22 there's not much changed everything remained the same especially all the window managers and all the applications but there are some slight changes they did one of them is technical which is which they changed the e -log in the and some of the packages concerning the init systems and there's some things also concerning the software so for example icewm they changed it into icewm3 they bumped it so let me tell you what happened with uh, version 3 first let us change the theme i will put course course throw dark large this is a better theme and what what they did in version 3.0 icewm which was a a good update but it needs some follow-up is the tabbed windows what i mean by tabbed windows is let's say you open the file manager and you open another two applications two windows so we have two windows here so what you will do is you take one of them you press shift and the middle mouse and you drag it to the title for other themes it will be flashing but for this theme it is not flashing and you release it so they are both of them are one tab so we have here rockstorm but there is inside the file manager so how you get it you go to the title you can also put a key binding if you want to take it out but this is for you to discover I just want to give you that this idea so we have rockstorm and thumbs if I press thumbs so you have now the file manager they are act as one window if you want to go back to rockstorm you can go back to rockstorm if you want to detach them it's very simple you go to tabs and move to new window of course you can add another one here and to be more innovative I'll put another tab here so we have a tab inside the tab inside the tab and you shift and middle mouse you get it here and now we have we have a terminal rockstorm thumbs and rockstorm so this one if I move it to another window so we have this one in another window and this one you can have them like this so that's for the tabbed windows it is not uh, elegant enough I prefer that they have some in the in the title they have some tabs so that it will be easier to toggle between them so that's for for the ISWM 3.0 another thing is Firefox so they have upgraded Firefox let us see Firefox here okay so Firefox here they upgraded it into 102 ESR and if you notice updates will come through package manager Antix Linux dash 21 so here it should be 22 or they did not have changed it again but they have upgraded to the latest extended support release 102.3 the other thing is they have upgraded to the latest version my favorite not my favorite but it is a mozilla based browser so if i want to go into it so we go to control panel we go to software package installer we put our password and we search for c monkey so we have the browser c monkey and we click install okay so and it's finished do you want to exit package installer I say yes so it is now installed so let us open it we go to the internet and this is our C monkey okay so this is our C monkey if you notice the C monkey website C monkey 2.53.14 and if we look at the help here about C monkey it is 2.53.14 so they did a good job in getting it to the top version so basically what is C 
Sea Monkey. Sea Monkey is basically Mozilla and they are a small team now that they are updating Sea Monkey. It is a an internet suit which means it has it's not only a browser. So it is a browser, it is an email, a HTML editor, an address book, IRC chat, all of them in one and it is relatively lightweight so if you notice there's very much too much too many similarities between between it and the ui the old ui of firefox but if we want to change many of the things here what we can do is let us start with the customization so first off let us uh, change this one let me let us make it let's say customize so we don't need icons and text let's say we need only icons so it becomes like this it's better use small icons also it is better and done so we have this one these are the bookmarks if you want we can remove them and also you can also if you want manage bookmarks you can import the bookmarks that you have from firefox directly here json file there is no problem i already tried it and there is no problem between firefox and cmonkey the other thing let's say which is annoying about cmonkey is you see here you want to close it you have to close it from here so first we have to install some themes so what we do is we go to tools add-on manager browse all add-ons and the first thing we need to search for is c tab so we have c tab x2 okay and it says this add-on is not compatible with your version of c monkey so i say i want to do it so i press add to c monkey install add-on yes I want you to install it for me and restart now restart now okay so now that the X is next to it so this is the first thing that we did and it is also not bad the second thing that we need to do is you need to have an ad blocker so to have an ad blocker we need let's say you need you block so it's very easy if you want to search here let's say for you block you will not find it so what happened is you block they already kept a legacy version that you can get so how to get it we go to search for you block legacy github and you have it here github gorhill you block for firefox legacy i press it you have to be also aware that not all websites are well uh, with cmonkey so that's also uh, let's say twitter or other sites sometimes they are not good because they don't have the latest technology although they have html5 cmonkey but there's some websites that will not perform well on it so here firefox legacy i press it and here the assets so if you notice here the file is here and i cannot open it that's the things that annoys annoys us although this one takes a less ram but i cannot open this one let us check here here first in the releases so I cannot open this one so what I will do now you can already open Firefox and download it but I want to open it here so what you will do is let us go here you see this sea monkey lets you think for solutions and you look here for the update link so they updated it so you take this website here XPI copy and press ctrl t 
to for a new tab and paste and go so it is downloading now uBlock origin okay so uBlock origin is installed install now so uBlock origin has been installed successfully so as you can see now uBlock origin is installed here of course this cmonkey doesn't have any ads so we don't have any things so as you notice there is some restrictions but restrictions are good they help you to think to find solutions and that's how you learn maybe you will not use it but if you are restricted with ram you need to to find to work on this one the next thing that we will look at is the there is also the email client i tried this email client it's like close mail to get any any account you need to uh, uh, add everything manual so it's a has and i didn't like it but for the composer what you can do with the composer is this is like a basic html editor so let's say i want to write something here i'll go first for heading one welcome to my channel so this is like an html editor a basic one you can put underline here maybe you can put let me bring it like this and my we say let's say my important notes and you can put here note let us put it bold note one note two note three and let's say you want to insert an image you can have an image location which is a link or you can choose from any place we have this one okay open we got it so you need to put uh, either an alternate text if the image will not be apparent or do not use let us put uh, put an alternate text Debian logo this is the actual size so we press ok and next you can click it if you want and you drag it down if you want to make it smaller it reminds me of front page express or front page where you can have a simple html where you have if you notice down here we have the normal we have html tag so the tag it will if you know about html this is an image tag this is a list tag h1 tag and the p paragraph tag and there is also the body and if you want to look at the source this is the source for the html and of course the preview of course you tell me that well markdown they are doing miracles etc etc but what i like about it is that you can take a website and directly edit it from this one although as i told you some websites they cannot be edited like twitter or because they need a lot of javascript but you can do it for example let us don't save this one let us let us uh, get this one for example if you take this one and you press file and i want to edit this page so i want to edit it so it will open directly in the composer and from here you can start removing some things from here let's say i want to remove this one i can remove it i want to remove let's say uh, also this this one here so you can edit it on the fly and you can save it so the next time you enter it you you press you press the local file and many of the things if you have some images you don't want to get or etc etc it is a handy tool and also you say there is a table there is a spell there is an image etc etc okay so this is about the composer
So a final thing, why would you use something like SeaMonkey? Well, for many reasons, maybe for nostalgic reasons, maybe if you have low on, on RAM, because if you notice this one will not be RAM intensive as Firefox. And if you notice, if you use Firefox and Thunderbird, you will have a lot of memory usage, whereas SeaMonkey, you are opening the browser and also the email directly you can interchange between them and you get less on uh, resources it is good to try it also to learn some things some old uh, things and solve some problems that you have so you'll get more understanding about the system even if you are working with a very outdated software so that's it for today and we will be back with another video.